Hello everybody, welcome back to the Engineer's Edge channel. I'm your host, Cordell. Welcome back to the Edge. Today, I have something very exciting to share with you. A comparison against multiple uh, toolbox platforms. And I only uh, have been concentrating on the smallest boxes, you know, in the series, not the medium nor the big roller boxes but I have multiples here. We're gonna go with the granddaddy of them all, the Rigid, versus the one of the newest, just about the newest, the Heart Stack Power Tool Case. All right, and we're also going to have the Heart Technician's Box. Ooh, and a surprise. We're gonna have a surprise here, awesome. All right, but let's get to it. Um, so I was looking at garage organization items one day, surfing the net. Uh, as, as you also may have already heard in one of my other videos, I had bought some cobalt drills. This is just one of those. And I was so impressed with that. Not gonna talk a lot about that. And I was so impressed with the design, with the physical look and the performance. Oh my God, this is like the best performance. Not this particular one, but the hammer, the hammer drill the best performance I've ever seen in a cordless drill and I've been using it for 30 years. So, but anyway, it just so happens that with that addition and then with these later additions, my tools began to get an aesthetic appeal or look to them. So my main sort of actual toolbox, I have some other bags that you'll see in later videos. You'll uh, look for my later videos. You will see my uh, entire loadout or rollout that I use in the field. But my main actual box was the granddaddy of them all, this rigid. My tools are actually still in this rigid right now today because I'm still, um, have not swapped over just yet. So the let's take a look at the rigid, but you see how that aesthetic does not go together. Uh, the new versus the old. So I was looking for something that more matched. All right, but we're gonna put this aside for a moment. And take a look at the granddaddy and why this has been my main box for years. I don't even know how many years this has been my main box. Was it 2014 or so? Something like that, a long time. That's almost 10 years. But the rigid box, I don't have to talk a big long time about the rigid box because I'm sure all of you are familiar with the granddaddy of them all, but we will talk some about it. This just rock solid construction. How many times has this thing been thrown, dropped, banged, you know, it, it, no real damage, just these little scuffs here and there, no real damage at all. Nothing has popped out, broke off, popped loose, bent, none of that. You know, but I do take care of my stuff. So it's not like uh, I'm the one to totally mess my tools up in the first place, but no problems. That's the point. I've had other bags, boxes, tore, ripped, broke off, popped loose. None of that with the rigid. And then those all metallic, full metallic latches. All right. This just this, this tough construction. I'm not able to bend any of this stuff apart. You see there? All right. Nice hand grip there it's for opening. Okay, like I say, this is still loaded out with the stuff I use uh, when I go to the field, which is not an everyday thing, but, so I'm not gonna go over what I have in the box. That's not what this video is about. It's about the boxes themselves, and this being the standard bear. Of course, just to reiterate, those dividers that splits it just about in one thirds. The bigger section is in the middle. Um, and it came with six of these containers. And this is the only one I've been keeping up with for years. I actually use this one in my data center box, not in, in a different box that I'll show you in a later video. Look for my video about PC, um, PC repair and data center toolkit. But you guys will remember that there were six of these in this box. Sorry I couldn't locate, been years ago, could not locate all six just to show you for video purposes. Okay, and then you had that big 
you know, open middle section. And then the cups actually molded into this top that shut down. So whatever you had into one of these containers did not spill all around in the box for you. And that solid construction, these things move a little bit, you know, but just a good solid box. Nobody's ever had any complaints. Also from years ago, I found that I had a requirement Many years ago, I had a requirement that I needed to be able to stand on a toolbox, but then that went away. I stopped kind of working on, not to get into details, but I stopped kind of working over my head like that so much. Um, but I do have a requirement that my toolbox must be a good seat. So this is also, flip that up on its edge, an excellent seat. Oh, awesome to talk about that handle. Man, this handle, it, it's, it's funny how they just, did such a great job on the first module of tool system because this handle is great. It's nice and wide. The plastic actually feels great about it. It looks like even that orange part is plastic rather than rubber, but it, they did such a great job on the width and the feel of that grip. And then of course you guys know the flip ups, latches is what latches it into the next component. And of course it's gonna have the opposite ends down here to be lodged in. But look at all this reinforced plastic here all over the place. This reinforced plastic all over the place. That's a beautiful thing. But no need to spend any more time on the rigid box, as I'm sure almost 100% of you have this thing. It's, it's, it's the original. I don't even know what year that came out. Should have looked it up. All right. But you see how that is steady. As I improved. It just by chance, I improved my aesthetic. Um, that was just the ugliest thing I was carrying around anymore. So I said, let me, let me, let me look around here. And, hmm, let's go into the heart stack next. So the heart stack box, I was looking online and I saw this heart stack system. Oh my God, did that match? The black with the blue. That was awesome. That was awesome. And you know I had a couple of videos that goes on and on about the heart stack system, right? So check my videos out about that if you haven't seen them already. There's even a, a contest going on, one of them where you should like, subscribe, and leave a comment for it. And all, yeah, you know, I love comments. Leave comments, tell me what shows you want me to make or leave your comments about what I have said here. Agree with me, disagree with me. Hey, all comments are welcome. So I'm not gonna go very much into about this one as we've gone extensively into this. You know, I now that you put them side by side, I will say that uh, I am surprised that the boxes are literally this close in dimension. Dealing with the rigid by itself and then dealing with the heart stack power tool case by itself, it just seemed like the rigid was such a bigger, more robust box. But they're really relatively close, you know. The rigid is definitely wider than the heart. I'm not gonna go into measuring them. You can find measurements online, okay? So the rigid is a bigger box. It is a stronger box, more heavy duty box, but they're more in the same ballpark than I really thought until I really set them side by side. Hmm, interesting. Okay, both have the one third or, or so dividers. Very close, very close. All right, but you know, I wanted something a bit more heavy duty than what they wound up making this one out of. And it do have a little bit more space here, all right? So let's move on. Everybody knows this one. This one has been thoroughly covered in other videos. Much bigger, robust, stronger. Can't believe this one is as close as it is. Oh, look at those nice handles there that I never ever used. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. Now you know the next one I was going to talk about in this long awaited, awaited video is the heart 
power tool case. Ah, let's see. A new entry here. The heart technician. I'm sorry, the heart technician's box. All right. Let's get into that. I'm going to put this one aside. This is a masterpiece. A heart technician's box is a masterpiece. Beautiful design. Black with the blue trim. Those big metal latches, all metal latches. Reinforced plastic design all over the place. Similar to the rigid. Similar size to the rigid. Beautiful. Oh, and then you open that bad boy up. A beautiful piece comes with its own custom uh, small parts tray. Even big enough to put small hand tools in there. It's bigger, you know, bigger than you would expect for something that comes in a box that has dividers already built in and it fits flawlessly over here on this one side. It, it, it does not move to the other. Well, eh, oh, not really. Especially when you take into account these appendages, the stick out that, that can hold very small power tools. I mean, it's very small hand tools, very small hand tools, nothing medium sized or large at all. But this, look at this second frame plastic in here. This is somebody really went to work when they designed this. You know, but it's, it's just nice. It's just really nice. You know, we have six dividers in here. You can stagger these. You know, as such, to get different spaces going on. All of these different dividers come out. A masterpiece. A masterpiece. And this is just makes it so much extra special. Right there. Wow. Wow. I just so wish it was part of the heart stack system so that I could attach. Imagine even how much more nicer this would be. I could attach some heart stack components to it. But similar size to the rigid. Rigid is longer. Okay. Uh, very nice. Now, beautiful, beautiful handle. Wide, plenty of width. Beautiful feel on your hand. Even has these hooks if you want to hook your strap, your shoulder strap to it. Just a beautiful piece. Nice, very nice, very well thought out. And now here is the surprise. Because the whole story is, I had this one. I was looking for garage storage. I um, brought in this, um, you know, the cobalt, the first cobalt drill, and. I looked online looking for garage storage, and you know what I saw? I saw a cobalt box, black with blue trim, called K Stack. K Stack. All right? Now that's a beauty. Cobalt. In the all silver, as we would certainly expect, there's also a video talking all about this box, so I'm not going to go too much in depth, but we will do our boxes comparison. All right, so big handle, rubberized interior to the handle. It's got decent width, but it just doesn't feel as good as any of these other three boxes. You know, um, big latches but mostly plastic, but strong plastic with metal actual latches, okay? And then inside, all right, you know, we have our IP65 rating, okay, for the dust and uh, intrusion. As a matter of fact, I had never thought about it, about the heart. What does the heart have? Here with the heart, Technician's box is just all plastic, but it, it seems to seal good though. It does not have that rubber seal, but it seems to seal good anyway. Okay. All right, back 
to the cobalt. Then you're gonna have these trays with the dividers inside. You can see they come out really easy. You have to wash these things though. They go back in only one way. <laughs> Found out the hard way. All right, two of those boxes. Empty it out to the empty box. There are grooves for dividers here in the center and the other way in the center, but they didn't come with those dividers. Uh, there is some other little grooves here where you could, you know, it kind of holds these boxes in. It's not really designed though for a real otherwise one third divider. The big, one of the, the biggest drawback for me, because you, you, you saw how I roll, you know, I need that. The stuff that I'm carrying, I need to be able to do that in just about one thirds. Okay. Oh, and then we have our latches here, case stack latches to attach to other boxes, and then these half stack latches. Really nice. So you're gonna be able to slide something in this way and then latch it in. Real nice, real exciting to see what they come out with in the future. All right, so I'm not gonna make this a super long video. Let's just um, get a verdict. Cobalt case stack, a beautiful piece, a beautiful piece. It's just not as refined. It's just not as refined as I expected it to be. I expected it to blow away all hearts, and it really did not. You know, also, of course, of note is that is this a black and blue trim DeWalt tough system? Hmm, looks very familiar, even with the label latch up here, okay? So, my overall winner between the granddaddy, you just can't, like, really knock that out, because even after I move out of this for my everyday box, I'm sure I'll find other uses for the granddaddy box. It's just fantastic. Ooh, look at the cobalt. Similar similar dimensions to the granddaddy all the way around look at that okay this is really a similar box it's really a similar box except for those internal differences so that's going to be a personal taste situation is how does that stack up for your internal difference preferences okay but definitely a more beautiful box than the original Heart technician's case, a wonderful thing. Heart set, power tool case. Awesome design, awesome aesthetics. Um, a little light on different things, handle width, and also, you know, toughness in general, and so on and so forth. So my winner overall, Art technician's case and that's the engineer's edge let me know your questions your comments um, look at my other video which looks at Milwaukee versus heart stacks very small parts organizer top stack half stack boxes we still got the contest going on like subscribe leave me a comment on that video and my wife is going to pick a winner at random once we reach 100 subscribers that's the engineer's edge. I'll see you on the next video.